Welcome back. We're going to explore some interesting questions from PSLE 2020 paper. And this question is actually testing your child on patterns. Uh, it may not seem like a pattern question because in patterns you are also you are always given a table. But if you observe this question closely, right, it's basically testing the same concept as patterns. Kisi hung some identical rings vertically as shown. Alright, so here are some identical rings. And the thickness of each ring was 1 cm. For part A, they want the total distance from the top of the first ring to the bottom of the fourth ring. Alright, so as you can see, right, the rings they overlap over here. And can you tell me what is the overlap part? It's basically just 1 cm plus 1 cm, okay? And how do we know that? Because the thickness is 1 cm. And when they overlap, they overlap at these two parts here. And so that's why the overlap region is actually uh, 2 cm. Okay, so basically, right, every time the ring extends, the extension is basically only by 7 cm. And that's because uh, they overlap over here, which is 2 cm. Do you get what I mean? Alright, so the first ring is 9 cm. The second ring will extend the total length by 7 cm. The third ring will also extend the length by 7 cm. And the fourth ring will also extend the length by 7 cm. So can you tell me what is the total length for part A? Very simple, right? It's basically just 9 plus 3 times 7. Okay, so 9 is referring to the first length. Then plus 3. 3 is basically the number of the intervals. Right, in this case, there are 3 7s over here. Right, 1, 2, and 3. So you take 9 plus 3 times 7, the answer is 30 cm. Okay, and now for part B, the question says that the distance from the top of the first string to the bottom of the last string is 198 cm. So from the first all the way to the last is 198. And the question asks how many rings the KC hang all together. Can you recall how to do this question? Alright, the first step is to take 198 minus away 9, okay, because 9 is the length of the first ring. Alright, you get 189 cm. Okay, then you take 189 divided by 7 to find how many intervals are there. Alright, so in this case, when I take 189 divided by 7, I basically get 27 additional rings. Alright, so to take note, okay, this 27 is not the answer, right, because 27 is basically the number of additional rings. So to find a total number of rings, what should you do? You have to add the first ring, right? So 27 plus 1, the answer is 28 rings.